morning, everyone. It's uh, Monday morning, the 7th of June, and uh, let's get right to it here. This is your pre-opening comment. It's uh, video number 798. Okay, so the G7 got together uh, and uh, decided that a 15% minimum corporate tax was in everybody's best interest, so... Uh, that's the announcement coming out of the G7. Uh, Asia markets are mixed. Europe is down a little. Um, a bit of talk about uh, chips and the fact that uh, they now feel that the chip shortage will run into Q2 of next year. Uh, Blackstone and Carlisle together deciding to buy Medline Medical uh, medical uh, products company, $30 billion in cash. UAL said that their uh, new employees are going to be required to have vaccinations. So uh, it's not really much going on with the stock as it relates to, to that, but uh, this is a very sticky area as to whether or not companies can require vaccinations. Lordstown, symbol R-I-D-E, late filing, received a delinquency notice from uh, the NASDAQ. Uh, you know, it doesn't reflect well on them, but it's clearly something that uh, can be overcome. So we'll see what they have to say about that. Uh, there were uh, two deals in the um, infrastructure game this morning. Uh, U.S. Cement, USCR, USCR is being bought by Vulcan Materials for $74 in cash. Uh, the stock is $72.97, up uh, $15.83, and that's a 27.7% move higher. And Macquarie Infrastructure, symbol MIC, one that we don't see much information about. Uh, they are selling their Atlantic Aviation Division to KKNR for uh, $4.5 billion, $4.475 billion. And of that, $3.375 billion will be um, distributed to shareholders. So a special dividend. Uh, that won't happen until the uh, deal closes. Uh, but the stock is 39.04. It's up $4.06. So uh, just under a 12% gain. Uh, stock futures are doing very little of anything. Uh, we're pretty much towards the high of the day. Uh, S&P, which was about unchanged, is now up $3. Uh, the Dow, which uh, I've seen move from up 25 to up about 77, uh, has been pretty decent. And the uh, NASDAQ uh, looks up about $5. So, uh, also, Janet Yellen made a comment about higher rates uh, to combat inflation, which uh, she sees as approaching 3% for the year. The chart on the screen are the bonds, which uh, were rallying before that and have since come back down. Uh, this is the highest level uh, in uh, about three weeks. Uh, but again, you know, it bounced up towards uh, 158. The high was actually 157, 25, 30 seconds. So 157 and about three quarters, uh, currently trading 157.06 and down 9, tenth, uh, 9 30 seconds uh, or about a third of a dollar. Uh, Oil is down 20 cents. Uh, that gas is lower by about four. That takes it right back into support. Uh, the gold, which reversed strongly on Friday, down about $3, giving back a little. Uh, silver down 16 cents, giving back a little more. Uh, and that's about it. Bitcoin pretty much unchanged, down $115 on uh now down just under a hundred dollars. Uh, 
uh, on 37,000, so no big move there. Uh, and uh, the meme stocks are doing pretty much nothing, up a dollar, down a dollar. All right, everyone, I'll be back tonight, and I really would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button to support us. Have a good day.